Shalom, brothers and sisters. So where is the support of the leadership of the world right now? Not with the Jews, not with Judaism, not with Christians, with Islam, with Muslims, with Hamas supporters. Biden and Kamala Harris sent Ramadan message empathizing with Hamas supporters. The sacred month is a time for reflection and renewal. This year it comes at a moment of immense pain. The war in Gaza has inflicted terrible suffering on the Palestinian people, Biden messaged those Muslims who are deeply sad at their failure to wipe out the Jews. While Hamas, Hezbollah and the Houthis and other Islamic terrorist groups have tried hard, Biden acknowledges that they have fallen short of their highest aspirations. Vice President Kamala Harris also made a point of reaching out to Muslims deeply upset at the small number of Jews who had been killed. I know that there is great pain in the community. What we are seeing every day in Gaza is devastating, Kamala empathized with the Muslims. Very upset at the suffering of Hamas and their defeat. President Biden and I will continue to work to ease the suffering in Gaza and support the right of the Palestinian people to dignity, freedom and self-determination, Kamala assured the Muslims, still hoping Hamas will win and the Jews will die. Biden admits in a moment of candor that Hamas wants a ceasefire so it can survive and rebuild. Now juxtapose that with Harris demanding a ceasefire now, and then you figure out whose side they're really on. No one's calling for the peace and self-determination and everything for the Jews or Israel. Everybody's quite happy to sing from the river to the sea and for them to be wiped out and eradicated. No one is going to say anything amazing like this and support and solidarity and all these things with Jewish feasts or Christian holidays. No. No, at a time when Islam is openly worldwide showing hate and destruction and wanting to destroy, they're reaching out and saying, oh, shame, we're with you. We're so sorry for the pain you're going through. No, what about the Jews? What about the Christians being killed in Africa by the Muslims? This world has shown its true colors, and these true colors are only the beginning of what lies ahead for this final week. So for now, while we're still here, because we are not destined for wrath, we are leaving shortly. So while we are still here, pray for the Jews, pray for Israel, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the Christians who are persecuted and laying down their lives as martyrs for the Lord God and his message. Shalom.